So who am I speaking with? Hey, I'm Steve Souders from Google. Yeah, and Steve, you just gave a uh, session on how to make your uh, mobile apps faster with HTML5. Is, is that what we were talking about? Yeah, I'm in the HTML5 mobile track. And so, yeah, so I'm very big on the open web and talking about mobile web apps. All right, so give me the, the basics. Uh, what are you know the, the ways that one can make their mobile apps faster? One thing to really pay attention to is JavaScript. In fact, almost every website, when I start looking at how to make it faster, I look at JavaScript. And so there are a bunch of blog posts that I've done about uh, techniques that uh, Bing and Facebook and Google Search uh, and Gmail have done on mobile to get JavaScript out of the way. Um, and so, you know, that's really important not to have it to load JavaScript asynchronously and also not to parse and execute it until you really need it. So those are the keys because usually how are people behaving with JavaScript that makes it go slow? First of all, they're not loading it asynchronously and so if you're not doing document.write, you can just use the async attribute for that. But if you have a lot of JavaScript, even when you download it asynchronously, once it starts, once the mobile browser starts parsing and executing that, it locks the UI thread so the user can't interact with your web app at all. And so if you have a lot of JavaScript for Ajaxy stuff, DHTML -y stuff like drop down menus and carousels and XHRs, then that JavaScript you don't need to parse and execute until the user actually. Um, enables that feature, clicks on that feature. And so if you can download that JavaScript to the mobile browser, but wait to parse and execute it until the user enacts the feature, then it will actually make the UI more responsive. Okay, other than JavaScript, are there any other ways that I can quickly make my mobile app faster? Yeah, uh, use app cache or local storage because browser caches are very small and um, reduce your image sizes using something like Sentia.io source so that you're not downloading really big images that are bigger than the size of your mobile screen. What about um, issues with concern to network availability? I mean, uh, I talked to actually the developer of um, Instagram just recently. He said, you know, we designed it for, you know, falling onto the edge network or falling off the network. How should I make my mobile app faster when there is no network? Well, that's what app cache is for, is it lets your app run offline. But it's kind of tricky right now. Um, so in this deck, you can get the slides off my website, stevesouders.com. In this deck, I talk about the major gotchas that I and most other app cache developers run into. And how like what? Around them. Um, one is that uh, if you update a resource that's in your app cache manifest, you actually have to load the mobile web app twice before you see the update. And as a developer, you might not anticipate that. And so you would push a change, load your web app, and expect to see the new JavaScript or new image and not see it and wonder what was broken when actually it's performing according to the spec. You just have to load it twice. Excellent. Steve, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, it was great being here at Silicon Valley Code Camp. I'm really excited. This is my first year, and I hope we get to come back.